Whenever I come to Cedar Falls, it's always a two-step process. First thing I do, I always go down and I sign in and leave a donation. It's suggested that you leave a donation, but it is a small price to pay for the beauty that you get to see out here. I should let go. After I've left my donation and signed in, I get back in my car and exit through the main entrance. Once I've taken a right out of the main entrance, I follow that road until I get to Packentech Road where I take another right. You follow Packentech Road until you get to a gate that says private property. You'll see on your left that there is some space where you can park. From there, and make your way down. It's about a five minute hike. I will say that if it's rained recently, I would watch the rocks. It can be very slippery here. I've actually fallen myself before in the past. I do wanna say if you've never been to this area before, it does help to have a tour guide. If you're asking my personal opinion, I will always recommend hiking with Sean. Check him out on Facebook. He's got a website and the guy's all over the place um, and he does great work. I probably wouldn't be doing the work I'm doing out in Shawnee uh, if I hadn't seen some of his stuff first, but the Shawnee National Forest Facebook page is amazing as well. Thanks for joining me here at Camp Andesonk at Cedar Falls, tallest free falling waterfall in Illinois. Um, come along for another adventure. I